Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. This is video number two of my series on replacing the Viper cooling hoses. So this particular video is going to address doing your heater core hoses and that's going to encompass everything off the block back up to the heater core. And uh, my first intention when I was going to do these videos was I was going to do it top to bottom. The full, you know, rad hoses, heater core hoses, and then dive into refilling and bleeding the system of air. But truthfully, this is about an eight hour job on your first time out. So that's a little bit much to swallow uh, on a YouTube channel at one time. So I'm gonna break it into these three individual segments to make it a little easier. And everything you see is as it was done. So the only edits you have is my occasional stroll to and from the tool chest, to and from my wash sink, and the occasional four letter expletive that comes out when I bang something especially my head on the hood. But other than that, it's straight up as you see it. Enjoy, let's go number two. So now we gotta take off the windshield wipers in this cowl so we can get to the, these two hoses behind the engine here. Now we'll do the other side. And now we're going to remove the cowl. We're going to pop one door to get this far screw out over here on this side. Total of four screws on the cowl. Okay. So here are the two hoses I'm trying to get to right back here. They tie in right here on the back side of this valve cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting those off. Let me bring you in here and kind of show you what we're gonna do. Okay, here are the two hoses right here. This is number one, and there's number two that we gotta get. And they come right back here to the heater core. All right, so here we go. I'll try to get these guys out of here. Okay. I got one of them, the clamp's off. Go for number two. It must be nice when Dodge is building these engines to be able to put all this stuff on before it's in the engine compartment. Okay, there's number two. So I got the clamps loose. Now it's a matter of getting the hoses off. To make it a little easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little cut in the hose. After 20 years, man, those suckers are on there pretty damn tight. There we go, there's one of them off. Let's go for the next one.
There we go. There's number two. All right, let's get those clamps off there. Now we're going to be working on this right here on top of the heater box. There we go. So we got this one now right here. Now we're going to dive into these others two here have like a pinch connection fitting there that I'm going to have to cut off. I'll get the last one over here with the clamp. So I'm going to try to get this one here. Get it turned where I can get my tool on it. There we go. We've got to cut this guy free now. This is what we're after right now. Got to cut that and that. Okay, so this is like an Otterker clamp here. So we're going to have to pry this side up here from the edge to get that thing to release. So I'm going to try to get something up underneath here without damaging. It's held in place by that one little tooth right there. There we go. All right. Kind of like the same clamps they use on a CV joint to hold a dust boot on. So I need to get in there again. There we go. Now, we can very carefully pull these hoses off. Ooh, a little bit of coolant there. And if it gives me any static, I'm just going to cut it off. off. Okay. Last one to get off are these two sides over here. And this one should come off pretty easy. There we go. And then this last one here. Okay. So we got these two hoses off. All right. So these hoses here are really visible when you look into the engine compartment. And my goal is not really modification on this car, but um, preservation. And being that, and being that we can't get um, the factory hoses, these are pretty doggone good repli replications of it. But I'm gonna use this abrasion guard right here and put these sleeves back onto these and then retape this up as it was done from the factory. So I'm going to come in very carefully. I'm looking at, at uh, my hose scenario. This one here is this one, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and very carefully take this. Um, wow, that tape's brittle. Take this off right here. OK. And then I'm going to cut this off right here and leave it in place so I know where it was. Then I'm going to slide this off. Famous last words of this hose. And we know it goes like this, right? So very carefully put this back. The way it came on. And it looks like it was right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tape it right here. Okay, so I'm going to just dry this off a little bit. So 
So then I've got a little bit of 3M tape here. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this on here like this. Goal is just make it look as close to OEM as possible. There we go. It looks like this side was actually taped at one time, but it just came off. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that as well. Man, I got coolant on everything here. Okay. And I think this is there to protect it from abrasion from the windshield wiper motor. So it sits right underneath it. Okay. So we now have that hose ready, which was this guy. Then we got to put together this hose. And along this one, it's a little bit long, so I'm going to have to trim it. So I'm going to take this off very carefully right here. And then we'll take this off. I'll slide it on the new one. I'm looking right here at where it was. Looks like right here. So it looks like it's coming in right like this. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this one here. And then we'll tape this up like this. And then we will cut the pipe to fit. Here we go. So we got this here. Okay. Okay, now we got it to the right location. We're going to go ahead and look at the tube as far as the, what we need to do as far as cutting it. So it looks like probably some of the vicinity right there. Pretty tight bend. But I'm probably going to cut this one on the car. Okay, let's go back to the car and we'll start fitting these in.